How fast was your heart beating when you walked out onto that stage? It was beating so fast. My lips was trembling at some point throughout the audition and I had to try and get that under control because it was just so nerve-wracking. It felt like I'd stepped inside of the television. I've watched The X Factor for so many years and I just, I was to death thinking, I can't believe what I'm doing, look what I'm doing. You've had a career before in music and you yeah. gave up singing before and I love the fact that you said to Simon that you wouldn't change anything, so no regrets then? No regrets for me, no. I, I, I did what I wanted to do at that time. It's made me the person that I am today and probably having all that time off and then coming back to music now it makes me appreciate it so much more. How did it feel when you got that standing ovation? Because you must have been waiting for that a long time. Well I cried, I, I, I cried which, which I do quite a lot and um, I wasn't expecting that. Like for me it was like this show is like the final crack of the whip, whip for me so I was hoping so much that they liked me but I wasn't singing a cover, I was singing an original song and there was so much that they could have not liked, but it, it turns out that they liked all of it. So I was just over the moon. It couldn't have gone any better. It's been so long since I've done anything like that. And um, I think when you're a mum, you do, and especially being a single mum, it's just all about being a mum. It's all about raising the boys. I wasn't going to bring them. And then the last like couple of days before, I thought, you know what? They probably would really like it. So they came. But up to now, it's, it, like I just said, it's just been all about them. Me, me, me. We're on the TV. Isaac, look at me. I'm, look at my hair. This, you know, do you realise what this could do for our future? <laughs> <laughs> They're just so, so excited about it all. They really are. Oh, amazing. And tell me, how different is your day-to-day -day life then as a mum and as a cleaner to then performing on stage? It must be night and day. Well, I'm not cleaning anymore. Um, I, I'm just sort of um, just really lapping up all of this and there's so much to do that um, I haven't really had a lot of time to think of anything else. We, we do live with my parents so my mum and dad has been really hands on with the boys and that's been really good for them. Your audition song, is it out there? Are you going to release it as a single? Because it's amazing, I can't stop listening to it. I would love to, I would love to release it. Um, I, I think that'll be a, definitely an option for the future. Um, it's been received so well. And do you have more material ready to kind of put out there? That It's all I've done for the okay. past seven years is right. Um, it's been, I, I, I've been through so much in the past seven years and my way of sort of getting my emotions out there is to put it into the music, put it into songs. So yeah, there's, there's quite a few, there's quite a few. Tomorrow doesn't belong to anybody and if there's something in your heart, if there's something that you want, only you can get up and go out there and do it. And it's easier said than done, but it, it's worth it at the end of the day. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the stuff in the school at home, <laughs>